what up, y'all? LB Sick to make another video for my sickos. Y'all recognize this guy? He's been in a few music videos with me. Uh, for those of you that don't know, man, I've recently been published in a magazine um, on page 14. Eminem and MGK on page 19. LB Sickening. Check it out. It's pretty dope. Anyways, uh, we're gonna we're just gonna start this off with Lil Scrappy, I guess. Uh, you like Lil Scrappy, right? I love Lil Scrappy. Lil Scrappy's raw. I got to open up for Lil Scrappy at the Underground in Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, I remember I remember while he was there, man, uh, the whole sound system went out in the middle of his set. And everybody started booing, right? So Lil Scrappy, he did what he does best. He entertained, right? So he just he started screaming his words to his music. And uh, it worked, man. Everybody was still still digging out with him. Were you there that night? No. Stupid phone. I hate this phone. If you'd spend more money on a phone instead of getting that Boost Mobile Special. Yeah. <laughs> Switch to us. This phone's free. It's also a piece of shit. <laughs> Check it out. This is little scrappy money in the bank. Hey, that shit's classic, man. That shit's over ten years old. That was a little scrappy, man. <laughs> Next, we got a little flip. Yeah, I got to open up for a little flip at the Underground in Sandusky a few times. Um, I'm pretty sure I did one at uh, Peabody's in Cleveland too. That's pretty dope. Peabody's, huh? Yeah, I don't even exist anymore. They tore it down. Everybody that worked at Peabody's ended up moving to the Agora. On my YouTube channel, you can check out an episode I made. Um, let's talk about it. There's a little flip episode. Check it out on my YouTube. Anyways, this is little flip. Let's talk about it. Game over. Little flip. Check it out. We want flip. We want flip. We want flip. What the hell was you all doing? He was playing video games. Here, here with your money. Just like you asked. This hundred thousand dollars. Wait, wait. I can dance. Look at this. Look at this. Get out there and get him off stage. Jay Mac, Jay Nancy needs to jump his ass off stage. It's 9.7 pounds. Man, 100 grand weigh 10 pounds, man. You short, homie. Hell, yeah, you know that. I was gonna get it to him. Get on mathematician here. It's my daughter's college money, man. And flip your ass on stage. All right, we good. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just your average hood cat with dreams of getting rich. My crib big like a football field. You might mess around and think I signed a football deal. But you don't hear me. I take 15 minutes to drop a track. Yeah, I take oh my. But you don't hear me. I make them bounce all across the globe. I'm a pimp. I got your girl taking off the clothes. But you don't hear me. A franchise like a Houston Rocket. Every eight months is when I usually drop it. But you don't hear me. I got the streets on lock. I like my beats with knock. You know my state. Play up. Now who they want? Over. It's about time, cause hip hop need a makeover. And most producers 
Sisters want to charge too much, but around my way, that's how you get me. But you know, hear me. You might think we all beats and rhymes, but way before this rap music, the streets was mine. But you know, hear me. I got that hot, that thug life pop, that get flop, that B.I.G. ready to die. Classic. That's 10 years old, too. That is a classic. Hmm. Classic as fuck. Yeah. Hey, I need everybody in the background to shut the fuck up. Word. Word. Don't nobody want to hear you. I'm just being a dick and playing around. Fuck off. <laughs> They'd rather hear me than you. I agree. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. She's got a smart-ass mouth. <laughs> Um, it, ain't got, it ain't got the hands to back it up. Oh! oh you. you gotta at least come show your face now, because I'm gonna leave some no. of that in here. <laughs> That's right. what I thought. Told you she couldn't back it up. Blake. You ain't about that life. What we got coming up next? We got Busy Bone. All right, so this next artist is Busy Bone, man. I got to open up for Busy Bone two times. The first time I got to open up for him, man, I actually, like, my respect level went way, way above the roof of this guy. He was standing on stage. There was pretty much nobody in the club. And he's with, like, two dime model-type high-class-looking women, man. And they're sitting there, like, talking to him or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Like, hugging his nuts. Yeah. You know? And I'm like... Yo, you know, I stood there. I stood there waiting for him to stop talking. He just he cut them chicks off. He's like, "Yo, hold on a second. He started talking to me. That shit was raw, man. I got to take a picture with him and shit. Uh, a couple uh, about a year or two later, I got to open up for Bone Thugs and Harmony too. I'll do that in another episode. Anyway, this is Busy Bone when Thugs cry. For the ghetto media, yeah, don't let the light scream for you. I will fuck you up. Is it what it sounded like? 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 Is it Rolling with my crucifix, loser for you to the user to rule out these wicked 
in the school of these ghetto gangs and the food of this bitch is missing. Shame, shame, shame. Enemies attacking me, but actually I'm in the grain, that's Mr. Majesty. These casualties, what they pass in the box, but I get that falling when it's all cold in the room, who's gone and better come after me, we say fuck yo. All in the battle, we Very cool, humble man. Uh, I actually, I was just on a, a TV talk show called Hollywood in the Hood with Play a T. It's it's Busy Bones homie and Flesh and Bones homie. Uh, you should go check it out, man. It's on my YouTube channel. What you got to say? I used to sell drugs to Busy Bones. You sell drugs to Busy Bones? Yeah. You shouldn't tell people that. I just, I just why I whispered it. <laughs> he used to sell drugs to Busy Bones. Busy Bones sober these days, and props yeah, to you. And so am I. <laughs> props to you. And so am I. Um. That is a true fact, though. Yeah. That is that is a true fact. I mean, we... True statement. But I grew up listening to Busy Bone all through the 90s. It was hot. So it was a little, scr little flip and a little scrappy. That was all stuff that I grew up listening to, so I love it. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, actually, Bone Thugs and Harmony was the first group that ever got my attention when it comes to hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. Before this, I was into rock and roll and all this Crossroads stuff. Crossroads yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Crossroads is the first song that got my attention mm -hmm. when it comes to hip-hop music. Anyways, let's go on to the next one, man. Uh, where are we at? We're at Busy... We're, we're at uh, we'll Clown Posse. No, we're ain't fucking playing fucking ICP. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so they put up these two stripper poles, and they have chicks from outside the crowd come in, and they and they strip, and they got the two rappers, and they they do the thing beating up each other right. throughout throughout the show, and then they got these two guys in full body armor, and they're there just to mosh, right? So I'm moshing with these dudes, dude. I got a broke rib. I bet. Not even not even a lot. Got a yeah, broke they got rib. body armor on. Yeah, straight fucked me up. Yeah, I, I would have looked at that and been like, yeah, probably not. Yeah, it was fun though. Yeah. Um, I can admit that I've never listened to Wolfpack. You've never listened to Wolfpack? Not not to my knowledge. Well, we're about to school him. Sorry. Now, th this is, this is like, you hear in St. Cloud Posse talk about Juggalos and, like, how there's Juggalo groups that tour the world and live off of their music that you'll never hear of. This is one of those bands. That I've never heard of? That you've never heard of that are that are paid. You know? They make porno. They, they do I make all, porno. Hit them up. <laughs> They'll make you... A redneck and a fat sweaty Betty. <laughs> fat sweaty Betty. <laughs> fat sweaty Betty. Is that gonna be the hook to your next song? That's an ICP song. Oh, see, I'm not a juggalo. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Anyways, whoop whoop. <laughs>
I have to say anything about Wolfpack, it is this. They're fucking fun to party with, bro. Seems like it. Yeah, yeah, for real. But.